Hi guys, Serban here from 3D Sellers. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to correctly set up an eBay account in less than 10 minutes. I know there are thousands of videos out there and they are pretty much confusing and every time I watched YouTube videos about how to set up an eBay account, I ended up more confused than I was in the beginning. This is why the purpose of this video is to make everything clean and simple so that after you watch it, you know exactly what to do. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do to create an eBay account is to go to their homepage and click on this right here. This will take you to this creation page. In order to create an eBay account, you're obviously going to need an email and a password. Or if you want to keep things more secure, you can use Google, Facebook or even Apple to log in. So the first thing you need to do is to come up with an email. And no, using your personal email is not a very good idea because you're going to run this account as a business. You don't want to get your personal email involved in this. You want a business email so what I would recommend you to do is to create a brand new email just for this just a small reminder everything I'm doing for this video it's on my laptop on a MacBook more specifically it doesn't really matter but I just want to let you know that if you're using a mobile phone or a tablet things might look a bit different that is why I highly advise you to use a laptop for the purpose of following this video all right so right here in the account creation process you can select personal or business you can select personal that's not a problem when you're just getting started out just to feel how things are going on for you and of course down the road we're probably gonna have to switch for the business one all you need to do is put in your first name last name email and a password next up you need to provide your contact information give them your address all right once you enter your contact information you're gonna get this screen right here now I advise everyone who tries selling on eBay to go with the seller hub the seller hub is the easiest platforms to understand when you are a seller especially if you're a beginner seller because they make everything seem so easy and self-explanatory so if you want to you can just go on Google and write eBay seller hub but after you create your account you should see something like this and you can click on the button that says start using seller hub so let's go ahead and click on that now of course there are going to be a lot of tutorials that are setting up their accounts in a different way and they are not starting with their seller hub I just find this easier for beginners that is why I'm always starting out with a seller hub account and on top of that you know even eBay tries to convince you to use the seller hub and if you scroll down on their selling page you're gonna realize that there are a lot of advantages first of all one destination your selling activities all in one place next up great new tools plus all of your favorites improve to get more done you're gonna get access to more data your business performance front and center and you're gonna have some highlights here you can scroll down and see what's up with them they have a lot of advantages and eBay is trying to push the seller hub towards you I think it's a very good idea all right and this is how your seller hub should look like you should be all set from this point on but I'm just gonna walk you through and explain to you what every single thing from here does it's pretty simple this is gonna be your main page the overview in the overview you're gonna see some tasks if you have pending tasks listings how many listings you have how many drafts how many are ending today how many are unsold if you scroll down you're gonna have the advertising part which you can control the advertising part then you have sales you can see how many sales you did today last seven days last 31 days and then you have orders If you scroll more you're gonna have traffic you're gonna see what's your click-through rate what is the listing page view these are all very important metrics because they will make you understand a lot of things about your traffic for example, if your click-through rate is not good, it means that the picture that you're using as a main picture for the product listing is not good enough for making people to want to click on it. So the action that you want to take is to find a better picture, a more attractive one that will make people actually click on it and be curious about what you're trying to sell. Alright, so in order to set up our account, the first thing we need to do is to click on messages right here. As you can see, I have two messages. They are invitations and messages from eBay usually. Now, once you get here on this page, all I want you to do is click on account right here. This is very important information and we're going to walk through some of it. All right, so let's first click on personal information. Now, before you change anything, you need to sign in again and you need to put in your password again just to prove that it's you who's making this change. And right here, you're going to have some information about your account, such as the username, account type, contact information, and personal information. As you can see, you have an edit button in front of everyone, so you can edit it and actually change it. All right, next up, you're going to have your email address and phone number, which are not verified, as it says right here. Now, you're going to need to verify those because you are a serious business owner. You want to verify your contact information. So you're going to have some buttons that says verify. You can click on the verify button that's right here in the email section, and you're going to receive an email just 
just like this one that will give you a code you can input that code in here and verify your email you can do the exact same thing with your phone number verify it you're gonna get a code put the code in here and you're gonna verify your phone number as well this will basically verify our account so ebay knows that if they want to contact me they can use this information right here because it's verified so now i have verified all of my personal information the next step we need to take is to take care of our security you can find that under the personal information part and it says sign in and security so go ahead and click that you can set up a password you can select some secret questions and as you can see right here on the top of the list there are pass keys now i am actually using pass keys because they are are based on biometrics things such as the fingerprint or the face scanner and it will basically log me in based on my fingerprint and that is very very safe because I'm the only person who has my fingerprint next up you can opt in for the secret questions as well if you click that you're gonna get a list of questions you can use those questions and if you lose your password if something happens eBay is going to ask you these secret questions so if you know the answer to them you can use that as a safety measure also, you can set up a two-step verification. What's very nice about it is that you can take control of your very own account. Now, if you're gonna be selling, it's important for us to set up our 2FA. Of course, it's important for us to be as safe as possible. This is why I'm adding so many layers and I'm always trying to be as safe as possible because I'm a seller and you don't wanna lose the account. You don't want anyone to hack into your account. So what two-factor authentication is, is that anytime when you're trying to log in on eBay, it's going to send you either a text, either a notification, notification on your eBay app. And this is how you know that someone is trying to sign in your account. Now, if you are doing it, you're going to get the message and you know that it's you. But if someone else is trying to do it, then there's a very big red flag for you. You know that someone is trying to hack into your account. Now, I get this question a lot. People are asking me, hey, can I use my real home address or should I use a PO box address? Now, believe me, I've been an eBay seller for a long time now. And I've always used my home address. I never, not even one single time had a single issue. So if you want to, you can use your home address. But if you do have access to a PO box, I would highly recommend you to use that because it's definitely safer and it's more anonymous. So if you're gonna be selling and if you wanna do it seriously, I would recommend you to start setting up a PO box. Now, next up, let's go to the feedback section. It's something very important that I wanna show you. If you look on the right hand side, you have this button right here that says visible to everyone. If you turn this off, you're not gonna be able to sell. You are not going to be able to list anything. You know, this is a pretty interesting thing because people just wanna hide the comments, but they don't read what it says right here. It's says right here are you sure hiding your feedback comments will prevent other members from viewing these comments on your profile you will also not be able to list any items for sale and later on you're gonna have this problem you cannot make any kind of listings at all and you don't know where the problem is coming from this is where the problem is coming from this cannot be hidden so don't turn it off now next up let's go to payment this is where the fun starts because this is related to money we're gonna get paid by using the contents of this button so right here in the payments information you have a video where I talked about how to link your pioneer account go ahead and check that video out if you want to know how to link your pioneer account to your eBay now one thing you see right here is that you don't have a place to enter your bank information that is because you have not sold anything yet and you're gonna be able to input your bank information after you are selling something. So some of the things that you have to set up, you're gonna set up at that time. Permissions, now right here, if you have other people working for you, you can give them access. Next up, you have activity log. This is important because if you wanna know what happened with your account, if you have multiple people that can log into your account, you can check their activity and you can even check your activity. You might forget something, you might forget an item that you listed, you might forget that you went and saw an item, this is going to show you every single step that has been made with your account, so it's a pretty useful tool. So guys, as you've seen in this video, it's pretty easy to set up your brand new own eBay account. And on top of that, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes, I would say. So hopefully this video has made it very simple for you to set up your very own eBay account. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks again. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.